Welcome to TLH Patterns. I am Pradeepa. Today I am going to show you how to crochet this easy shell stitch bag. The bag is 8 inches wide and about 8 and half inches high, not including the handles. I have a return pattern for this bag in my blog the lazy hobby hopper .blogspot.com. If you like my patterns, you can support my channel by subscribing to it. Now let's see what you will need to make this bag. You'll need about 155 to 160 meters of uh, light worsted weight or category 3 yarn and then a 4 mm crochet hook. You'll also need a button and a measuring tape. Make a magic ring, wrap the yarn around your finger and then slide the yarn out of the finger. You should have the working end of the yarn on your right and the short end on the left side. Insert hook into the ring and pull up a loop and work a chain and then work 16 double crochets into the ring. I work 16 double crochets into the ring. Now you can tighten the ring by pulling the uh, free end of the yarn and then join the last stitch to the first double crochet with the slip stitch. Then we'll start the second round, chain 1. This will not count as a stitch. Now work 2 double crochets in each stitch around so you'll have 32 double crochets Join with the slip stitch to the first stitch. Round 3, make a chain, then work double crochet in the first stitch, then two double crochets in the next stitch. So in this round you will be increasing in every alternate stitch. Double crochet in the next stitch, then two double crochets in the next stitch. In this round you will have 48 stitches. Join with the slip stitch to the first stitch. Chain 1, this is the 5th round, work 2 double crochets in the 1st stitch, then double crochet in the next 5 stitches. Repeat around 2 double crochet in the next stitch, double crochet in the next 5 stitches. In this round you should have 56 stitches. Join with the slip stitch. We have completed the base of the bag. Now we'll start working the shell stitch pattern. Chain 1 and work a single crochet in the same stitch. 
skip the next stitch and work three double crochets in the next stitch then skip one stitch and work a single crochet in the next stitch skip one stitch and work three double crochets in the next stitch repeat this around After the last three double crochets, work a slip stitch in the first single crochet, completing this round. Then round six, start with three chains. This will count as the first stitch, and then work a double crochet in the same stitch. Then work a single crochet in the second double crochet of the next three double crochets. Then in the next single crochet work 3 double crochets. You will be repeating this around. Single crochet in the second double crochet. Three double crochets in the next single crochet. Then single crochet in the second double crochet, three double crochets in the next single crochet. Continue this around. Finish this round with uh, one double crochet at the beginning of the round you have already worked two stitches now you will make one more double crochet and join with a slip stitch to the top of the three chains so this completes round six in the last two rounds you work three dc shells and in the next three rounds we'll be working four dc shells start with chain one and uh, work a single crochet in the same stitch and now In the next single crochet you will work four double crochets so this makes a four dc shell then work a single crochet in the second double crochet four double crochets in the next single crochet repeat this around working four double crochets in every single crochet and uh, one single crochet in the second double crochet of uh, the three dc shell At the end of the round, join with a slip stitch to the first single crochet. Next is round 8. Start with 3 chains. This counts as a stitch, then work 1 double crochet in the same stitch. Out of the 4 stitches, we have worked 2 stitches and we'll finish with 2 stitches. And then you have 4 stitches in the next shell. Work a single crochet in between the 
second and the third stitch and then work four double crochets in the next single crochet then single crochet in the space between the second and the third double crochet continue this around 4 double crochet in next single crochet and then single crochet in between the second and the third double crochet We will complete this round by working 2 double crochets in the beginning of the round. So you have already worked 2 stitches and uh, these 2 stitches will complete the shell. Now join with a slip stitch to the first stitch. Start round 9 with chain 1 and work a single crochet in between the second and the third stitches and then complete this round as well as the next round which is round 10 with the 4 DC shells. So this is round 11, um, from round 11 onwards we will be working 5 DC shells. So here we are starting with a single crochet and then in the next single crochet work 5 double crochets. Single crochet between the second and the third double crochet then 5 double crochets in the next single crochet repeat this around Then we'll start round 12 with uh, 3 chains. Then work 2 double crochets in the same stitch. At the end of the round, we'll work 2 more double crochets to complete this shell. Now work a single crochet in the third double crochet then five double crochets in the next single crochet single crochet in the third double crochet continue this around okay now i let my assistant candy take over and complete the rest of the rounds for me repeat the five dc shell rounds until you reach a height of about uh, seven and half inches Okay, now in the next round, we'll work single crochet in each stitch around. Chain 1 and work single crochet in each double crochet. Chain 2 
and then single crochet in the single crochet repeat this around working one single crochet in each stitch um, you should have 84 single crochets so totally you will work two rounds of a single crochet this round and the next round okay in the next round work uh, chain one and a single crochet in the first stitch then chain five skip two stitches and single crochet in the next stitch repeat this around chain five skip two stitches and work single crochet in the next stitch finally join with a slip stitch to the first single crochet slip stitch in the next chain 5 space chain 1 and work 3 single crochets in the same space work 3 single crochets in each chain 5 space around At the end of the round, join with a slip stitch to the first single crochet. You should have 84 stitches. Then work one round of single crochet in every stitch. Now we'll start working the handles, chain 1 and work single crochets in the first 12 stitches. Then make 45 chains. Skip 18 stitches. Work single crochets in the next 24 stitches. After completing the 24 stitches, make uh, 45 chains. Skip 
again skip 18 stitches and you will have 12 stitches remaining work single crochet in in the rest of the 12 stitches join with a slip stitch to the first single crochet Next work a round of uh, single crochet in uh, each stitch and in each chain. At the end of the round, join with a slip stitch to the first single crochet. Finally, work a round of uh, slip stitch in each stitch around. Then you can now sew a button at the front. Then I join yarn to the back of the bag right behind the button to make a loop of chains to go around the button. I made a tassel and attached it to the button. Okay, so that's it. Tie the tassel around the button and um, weave in the ends of the yarn. I hope you like this pattern. Please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And uh, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.